Hello everyone and welcome to our time of worship together. Let's begin today by placing our symbols. So as I place the Bible, we think of God the Father and we say, Father, we are here. We are here for you. As I place the cross, we think of Jesus, God's Son, and we say, Jesus, we are here. We are here for you. And as we light our candle, we think of God, the Holy Spirit, and we say, Holy Spirit, we are here. We are here for you. So, we've been thinking about Jesus and some of his friends and some of the things that he did when he was working here on earth. Now, he spent a lot of time with his closest friends, his disciples, and he taught them many things. He showed them what to do and how to behave. And often they learnt by his example. He showed them he did it so that they could learn and copy what he was doing. Now, one day, the disciples spoke to Jesus. They'd been watching him very carefully. And over a period of time, they'd seen that Jesus prayed to God. And so one day, one of the disciples asked Jesus to teach them to pray. Now, I don't know whether you know this, but there are lots of different versions of the Bible. So this version of the Bible is my very traditional version. And I'm just going to read you a few lines from our Bible. And I'm going to show you what Jesus said and how these words might be familiar to you. So Jesus in the book of Matthew is telling his disciples how they might pray. And this is what he said in chapter six from verse nine. This then is how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our debts as we have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Some of those words might seem very familiar to you because those are indeed the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. And in some form or another, those will be some of the words that we will say. Now, I have here a different Bible. It's a slightly more modern one. And you can see I use this Bible a lot. I've got lots of little markers in it. And this is exactly the same verse in a different set of words. And neither are wrong. We're just more familiar with some than others. And what I suppose I'm doing is showing you that it doesn't really matter how you pray, as long as you pray. But let's read from chapter 9 in Matthew uh, 6. So when you pray, you should pray like this. Our Father in heaven, may your name always be kept holy. May your kingdom come and what you want to be done here on earth as it is in heaven. Give us the food we need for each day. Forgive us our sins, just as we have forgiven those who sin against us. And do not cause us to be tempted, but save us 
from the evil one. So two versions of the same Lord's Prayer and I know that in some of our school worships we film one version but actually many of you will say a different version. Both, all, are right. But I wondered if you would like me to just share with you a little bit about prayer because sometimes we need a reminder. Sometimes it's really good to think about how we pray. And sometimes we need to think about what we're doing. For me, I don't always pray in the same way. Sometimes I pray like a conversation with God, like he's sitting in the room with me and talking with me. But on other occasions, I follow set prayers and say them in the same way that we say the Lord's Prayer. So I have a way here that you might like to try. Maybe later on this week, when there's a few minutes to think about, or maybe at home with your family. So I have here, rather than just using my hand, I've got this giant hand. And you can see here my thumb, forefinger, tall finger, ring finger and pinky finger. Now then, this thumb, our thumb, can be used to remind us that it's really good to praise God, to tell God how great he is and what wonderful things he's done. And in the Lord's Prayer, we say, Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Special is your name. So that's one of the things that we are doing when we are praising God, saying how special he is. The tall finger is to remind us to give thanks. Give thanks for everything that God has provided for us. For our food, our clothes, the people who love us. All those things that we have to be thankful for. For the sunshine and the rain and the wind and holidays and all the other amazing things. So saying thank you is really important. Now this tall finger this tall finger is here to remind us that actually we all do things wrong sometimes and it's important to remember to say sorry. Sorry God, sorry Lord Jesus. And by saying sorry then God has the opportunity to forgive us. He will always forgive us the things that we've done wrong when we say sorry. The ring finger here is to help us to remember to ask for the things that we need. Ah, think about it. The things we need. Not just the things we want, the things we need. And the things we need are food and love and shelter and warmth and all the amazing things that we do at school. We need to learn, we need to have things to do to keep our minds active. So things that we need, ask for those things. And then finally, our pinky finger, our little finger. That finger is when we pray for other people. Now at the moment, I have a very special friend who's not at all well at the moment. And so in my prayers each day, I remember to pray for that person. There might be other people that you know and care about, but we can also pray for people that perhaps we don't know quite as well. There may be people caught up in war or in a natural disaster in something that's happening that's 
a reminder that we are so fortunate and we are so blessed. So praying for others. So praise, thanks, saying sorry, asking for our needs and praying for others. I wonder if you think now and reflect, I'm not going to say a prayer today until it's time for the Lord's Prayer. I'm going to ask you to pray a prayer in your mind, silently. If you wish, you could go and draw or write about it when you get back to your class. So I invite you to join me in a time of prayer, a prayer where we're quiet, where we think and reflect, a time of peace. So praise. Give thanks. Say sorry. Time to ask. And a prayer for others. Amen. Now we're going to join together in the words of the prayer that Jesus taught us, the Lord's Prayer. But today I'm going to use a version that is slightly different to some of you and join in whichever way you're comfortable, if you wish. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. So... I'm now going to close with our blessing prayers. But I hope you have a wonderful day and I hope you have an opportunity to think about how you might pray to Jesus, pray to God. So our closing blessing. Father as we go, Jesus as we go, Holy Spirit as we go, Bless us all as we go. Amen. And have a great day. Thank you. Mm -hmm.